Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Stage Reloaded. And I made a small mistake on the last, um, what's it called, the last episode. At the end I said we would be ex checking out what's in Alhafra, but like, we don't need to do that yet. We actually have to go to Mikasala. So, let's just go right ahead. So... You can leave all halfway with that. Go back to Yampi Desert, and Yampi Desert has a little exit shortcut. Makes it pretty useful. Read the sign. It says North Al Hafra, South Airs Rock. Warning! Beyond this point, there is no route back. You can only go one way. Go down here, and you'll have to go back through the entire dungeon of Yampi Desert again if you want to get back to Al Hafra. So, yeah. It's not good. But. We can get back to Mikasala easy that way. There's Rock is that dungeon that you need to go to, by the way. Uh, it's that one, like, it's, like, north. It's in the second desert, yeah. Bro, that dungeon is insane. Thorn! Storm Ray! Thorn! But, yeah, as I was saying, that dungeon is, like, insane. It's so long going to take a while. Probably going to take two episodes to cover all the content we need to in there. Huh. Yeah, by leaving that, we re-emerged near Ayers Rock. Of course, we don't actually need to go in Ayers Rock yet. I'm going to grind a bit before Ayers Rock, because cause honestly, I don't want to deal with any encounters in Ayers Rock. That dungeon is like torture as it is I'm gonna do everything I can to try to minimize the toughness of Ayers Rock because I am really not fond of that dungeon not fond at all okay so here we are god let's try blitz this time so we should probably just focus on one target that'd be better Blitz! Cannon! So! Well, we can probably just unleash here. Jupiter, what do you, Mercury, and then Mars? Yeah, that'll work out fine. Jupiter! Mars! Mercury! Well, I guess it's fine. Alright, cutting edge. Ooh, we can use punishment. Cure well! Punishment! Cutting edge! There we go. Oh god, there's Mikasala. That's not Mikasala, by the way. That's a different town called... Grow, but we're not going there yet. I just want to get its location so we can get its little dot on the map. Yeah. It's a long way to go back to what's it called? Uh, Mikasala, so. Let's just head on there. Just cast a void because I really don't feel like fighting anyone right now. Probably gonna be saying that every episode, <laughs> but yeah, that's just how it is. So where is it? Where's this town? Where is it at? There it is. Just a little more. No encounters. Awesome. Anyway, let me take a quick check of what I'm supposed to do here. I, I think I get it now. Huh. Let's go then. So, what we want to do here... There's a sheep. Let's try mind reading it. Nice. There's a chicken rooster thing. <laughs> chicken rooster thing. Huh. 
Yeah, that's a hint about what you're supposed to do. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that what he means is that you need to cast Scoop here. Scoop! Reveals a ladder. Go down. We find a little cave area here. Is there anything in here? I don't believe so. You re-emerge behind the haystack over there, and you find a Zhijini! It's a Mars Zhijini. He joins without quarrel. This is found in the town anyway, it's Spark. See what... Ooh, she learns Impair and Paralyze, thanks to Spark here. And she goes from a Disciple to an Acolyte. Nice. It's always nice getting a new Dijin. They're like practically necessary to beat the game. I don't think anyone has ever done a one Dijin Dijin run before, which means in the first game you just get Flint, in the second game you just get Echo. No other Dijin. Well, that'd be impossible in the second game because, like, it's mandatory you get Ether too, so yeah. Could though, because Ether's pretty much the most useful Dijin ever. Well, not ever, but like, you know what I'm saying. You know how much I've gushed about Ether's usefulness. Wait, where's the jar? Not here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna rest right here. Alright. That's what I'm, go I'm planning on doing here. But first, we gotta talk to this guy. Hold up. Yep, a lucky pe pepper in that barrel. Let's use it on who has the lowest luck, Jenna. Now everyone has seven luck. Seven, seven, seven. That means we're even luckier. Nice. Anyway, let's just talk to this guy. Forgive my manners. No, please, do not fear me. Hmm. I am the warrior Galahad. I am looking for someone and I need your help. Who could you possibly be looking for? Do you know of a knight called Isaac? Isaac? I know him very well. You do? You? I must warn Sir Isaac that he is in danger most grievous. Even now, Satraj, Navampa, and Azart are looking for him. They wish to avenge the loss he gave them at Colosso. Hmm, sounds like Isaac's in a bit of a pickle. Oh well. I can't exactly do anything to help here, can I? So, I guess the only way is to just move forward. I suppose you could say that. Alright then. Tundaria? Isn't that the continent on the very south southern red? I'm not doing too well today. Southern edge of Weyard? Yes, I, I believe it is. I am certainly ready for the trouble that is Ayers Rock. You mean an accursed place. Good to know. I suppose you could call me an explorer, yes. Huh, just know it's very dangerous. Another continent west. I believe he's talking about... Well, there are two continents west, it depends 
you're talking about directly west, then I believe that's a Tekka. If you talk about northwest, then that's Hesperia. Alright, it would be prudent to stock up on stuff we need before we go. Broadsword, nope, not useful. Adept's clothes, eh, maybe? Oh wait, they have a good artifact. Where'd it go? Maybe I already bought it. No, maybe they got rid of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they got rid of it. Yeah. It's, it sucks, man. They got rid of this synergy armor that was sold in this shop before. Yeah, sucks, man, sucks, man. Uh, oh well, how much we can do about it. They do have the depth clothes though, that would be useful on Jenna, cause like, she's had that travel vest for a while now, she needs a bit extra defense. Funny how I haven't used any corns or herbs yet. <laughs> no elixirs, huh? Well, we're gonna need to get some. Uh, G and I'll give them to you. Just five. I think that's enough. You could give a corn to Shiba. She could use us some extra corns. Corn. Corns. Listen to me saying corns. Alright. Let's go. I believe that's it. Oh wait, what does the great healer have to say? I believe he's talking about Indra. Only for like a second and a half, but yes. Werewolves. Huh. I'd imagine it does. Alright, now that we've done all there is to do in Mikasala, let's continue on. Alright, first before we go, I need to consult what I need to do next before entering Air's Rock. Okay, so we need to enter the cave where Sour was. Unfortunately, I don't recall where Sour was. So, uh, it might take me a while to avoid Specs War Off. I'm probably just gonna cast another Avoid! Because I really just don't feel like fighting right now. Here, no, I don't believe so. Here, no, maybe? No, it wasn't here. I mean, if we keep casting a void, we won't be able to get any random encounters, because we're pretty high level, I'd say. Of course, through Air's Rock, we're probably going to gain, like, three levels or so, but I'm going to do that in advance, because I don't want to fight anyone during Air's Rock. Because... There's rock, man. If you, even, uh, even in the base game, it was tough. There's rock was like that was not light work at all. But regardless, where where we where is it? Where did we find sour? I literally forgot. No, it wasn't up here. That's all half for us. Oh, right here. Duh. It's right over there. I remember now. Now all we gotta do is take a long, long, long walk back over there. Dang. Uh, another avoid. Yeah, 
and check the map again. Yep, right here. I believe it's right there. So much for that walking around. Right here, yes, right there. Uh. Yeah, this is where definitely where we fought Sour, but the cave is up here. Osenia Cavern. So let's head in. Simple puzzle, really. I don't believe there are any enemies, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what shall we do? Scoop! To reveal a ladder. Simple, really. Once you come at that end, you can approach this. And, ooh. It looks like it's another summon tablet like that Zagan we got. Huh. Let's grab it. I'm going to examine the stone tablet. And now I can summon Megara. One Mars and one Jupiter, huh? Well, let's test it out as soon as we get you know, back. Hold on, let me check one thing. 900, 3, 8, 7, and 10,000. Okay. 10,000, I mean 1,000. <laughs> I forgot. Oh well. They said one Jupiter and one Mars, right? And that can Ooh, we can show off Spark. I forgot to mention that. Spark revives allies. It's basically just like, um, what's it called? Quartz from the first game. Let's just show it off. Spark! Blitz! Okay, with that we can summon Megara, which is what I plan on doing. Boost hack! Megara! Pretty intense. And it raises our attack to boot. That's what makes Megara pretty awesome. Right. With that, we just gotta wait for the Dijin to recover, or not. Oh yeah, they're already all recovered. Duh. Okay. We can just cast a void. Let's go up to what's it called? Uh, Air's Rock. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while, bro. Up to Air's Rock we go. Wrong path. Oh my god. Alcenia is such a... Geographically... I just can't get used to it. It's like all these bridges and turns and stuff like that. All these pieces of land connected together. It's tough. Never really gotten used to it. Not even now. There's Garou, so that means we're close. We're close. Alright, here we are, the desert before Air's Rock. And there it is, Air's Rock. Ooh boy. Did the void wear off? Trying to get a void wear off so I can just like start grinding the moment I step foot in there. 
There we go. Here we are, Air's Rock. Prepare for like a five hour long episode next time, guys. Split into like 500 parts. Alright, anyway. On the next episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Stage Reloaded, we will start Air's Rock. So, I'll see you then.